Ah, uh, my little pluses, man. What's up? It's your boy Plus Mo, man. We back in action with another video. Yeah, I'm a triple upload today, bro. I ain't tripping, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead triple upload just for my little pluses, man. This is out for you, bro. In this video, we breaking down dispensary weed. That's what we doing. We breaking down dispensary weed. If you've never been to a dispensary, this is what you need to know before going. Look, if you haven't subscribed yet, man, I need y'all to subscribe, man. I got like 98% of you guys who are watching my videos have not subscribed to my channel, bro. And I'm like, man, why? Why would you want to miss this great content? Why? Why, bro? Here I am trying to be entertaining for you, bro. So hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the like button, man. Those notification bell, all that, bro. All right. Dispensary weed, man. I just left L.A. And as a THC smoker myself, you know. I like to indulge. Now, sometimes I like to get the goods. I don't really like getting too jacked up, though. You know what I mean? Like, you get too jacked up, I still have to work. So, I like being at a certain level, you know what I'm saying? So, this is from not really like a, a wee head per se. You know what I'm saying? This is the advice coming from just... I would consider myself like... Uh, I don't know, like a like a like a regular smoker, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, bro, when you go to the dispensary, they gotta know three things, bro. <laughs> Man, first of all, look, number one, all dispensaries are not the same. No, bro. No, you can't just pull up at any dispensary, bro. It's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> And I put up at one, I put up a dispensary in LA, one dispensary, man. It, it, man, I don't even get weed out here like that. <laughs> Bro, bootleg. It, like, I, I've been into some ratchet place buying weed, but this place was ratchet. I mean, you know, the other dispensaries, they got to have a code, they got to have, like, you know, they got to have security guards, whatever, whatever. But. <laughs> This dispensary ended up only having three different types of weed, bro. They had the special, they had the more than special, and they, they had the get you right. <laughs> bro, like, everything was for play, man. Everything was for show. Like, they had the whole menu. I'm like, yo, can I get that? Nah, we don't have it. Yo, can I get that? Nah, we don't have it. <laughs> This dispensary was like the worst dispensary ever, bro. If you end up in one of the dispensaries, run. I ended up because I was low. I needed some. I ended up getting the. I ended up getting some weed from this. This jacked up this. I wish I remember the name, bro. I can't remember the name. I wouldn't even say the name if I knew it, bro. But it's. <laughs> It literally looked like a little box. You walk in a box. It's a girl behind the counter. She opens her shelf like this. Hey, what do you need? And then she closes it. Bro, it's, it's weird, bro. Like, it was so ghetto. But I was like, I had to get some because I was on this long road trip. So I just, terrible, bro. It was the worst. It was it was like Reggie, even the special they had, like Reggie. If you find yourself. But it had all the regular names. Oh, these are cookies. Oh, these are Dream Maker, Dream Wedding Cake, whatever. It had all the special names, bro, but it was trash, bro. Yeah, bro, don't go to no dispensary like that. <laughs> all right, but if you end, no, listen, seriously, if you end up going to a really nice dispensary, if you haven't been, you have to know, like, there's certain things you have to sign up. Of course, they're going to take your ID. You know what I mean? They gotta run through the process. If this is your first time shopping for if you're if you if you're a cit not a citizen, but if you're like a vacationer like me, you get like ten percent off, thirty percent off, whatever. Um couple of things, man, the keef, everybody says, Oh the keef and wax. If you mix it in a blunt, you're gonna be so high. Ah, I would have just rather smoked a regular bud. 
Cause I got a wax and key from that. It wasn't my business. That moon rock though. Ooh, oh, hey. No. Don't do the moon rock, bro. Please don't even try. <sighs> Y'all gonna try it, I know. Y'all gonna be just like me, man. I hit that bitch about three times. It was a pre-roll. I got a moon rock pre-roll, man. I hit that bitch about three times while I'm asleep. I couldn't do shit. Here I am fighting my sleeve. Well, I'm like Mike Tyson in the first. Boom, boom, boom. I'm staying up. Ah, give me the left hook. Ah, second round come, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm staying up, boy. By that third round, I'm... <sighs> bro, please do not underestimate the moon rock, bro. You do not want the moon rock. All the other weed, you know, they got indica, sativa, it's like... I don't even really do my research. I don't even ask questions. Man, I just got whatever. Like, I, I shot for weed. Like, I shot for beer. What got the highest percentage? Okay, yeah, put that in the... Oh, that's Moon Rock? Nah, you can keep that. What, what's what's the highest percentage for regular people? Okay, yeah, yeah, put that in the, put that in the bag. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. It's plus more, man. Look, I'm entertaining this shit. Y'all ain't gonna... Y'all gonna... Nah, I know how y'all gonna do them. Y'all gonna do them the right, man. Hey, but look... Yeah, man, and them, them, them dispensaries crazy, man. I, you know, f to a certain extent, it's better, but to a certain extent, it's not. Like as soon as I went in there, I was like, man, why are these people capitalizing off some shit people went to jail for? You feel me? So that was like my first instinct to say that. But after I got over that. You know what I mean? Because shit happens. Shit happened to me too. So, and, you know, I'm going to just buy my weed and leave and smoke. And then got to go. Because, you know, I had to work. So, I got to. I gotta, can't be worried about this shit for too long. So, I got to get my shit. I got to get the fuck out of there. Anyway. Yeah, man, I'm tripping. I'm in there. Oh, these really, people really selling weed. These people selling weed at a business. And getting paid bucos. I'm like, what have got? Anyway, bro, if y'all in L.A., go visit the cookie store, bro. You have to go visit the cookie store. Look, I'm not lying. It's the best. A lot better than them old crappy ass, bro. Please don't go in them shitty ass dispensaries, man. And then I bought, I bought some weed for some random dude. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is... It's like old dispensary weed, like this the weed, the actual leftover weed dispensary has. And they don't sell it. They give it to like, I guess they give it to the street dudes for cheap. Because the street dudes will sell the weed, but it's like a lot older. <laughs> I mean, it still works, bro. I mean, it works. It's good. It's good. I ain't gonna lie. But go to you go to a good dispensary and it, the thing is it's not even as expensive i thought i thought it was gonna be like i thought this was gonna be killing me you know what i'm saying i mean it, i'm plugged in out here in houston so i mean you know 10 g normal for me it's about the same thing out there bro but that weed was way more fire bro shout out to la they do got the weed game locked up man just like the wine game like you know how they got like patches of different places where they grow the best wine. LA got patches and shit where they grow the best weed, bro. I'm telling you, man. I was. I'm about to go back, man. Shout out to the TAC. You know what I'm saying? 420 gang. <laughs> All my little plus. Hey, look, don't smoke weed. Don't don't smoke cigarettes. Don't do none of that, bro. Y'all can do it without that. I'm doing it with it. Y'all are younger than me. Y'all don't need it. I like it. That's what I do. I like it, bro. I, I get high. Hey, but anyway, man. Hey. Whew, shout out to Sativa, man. I'm a Sativa guy. Them dispensaries in L.A., bro. It's worth it, dog. It's worth it. I mean, unless your dope, if your dope man pull up at your house and he got some good weed, that's cool. But this shit, oh, bro. This shit I was getting from the dispensary kind of, it's like, it ain't wet. I don't know what you get. It just it seemed, it seemed fresh. It seemed a lot fresh, bro. It's just it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's better to me. 
I wish they had dispensaries in Houston. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy opened up one. I'm going to shop there. You know. Shout out. Shout out, bro. They paying taxes. We been to paying taxes. Or whatever. You know, it's helping all of us. I guess. Yeah, I know. I still ain't got no haircut, bro. I'm, it's coming. It's coming. I swear it's coming, bro. Please don't hate me. Don't hate me. I have not got my shit cut yet. I don't know. My boy. My boy B would be pissed off. Why the fuck you ain't get your hand? Bro, my shit ain't faded or nothing, bro. Like, I'm, I'm really growing my shit out. Like, my shit gonna be long as hell. I ain't tripping. But yeah, dispensaries in Cali, depending on which one you go to, A+. plus. Them other ones, bro, you gonna know what I'm talking about. When you walk in there and stink a little bit, <laughs> bro, dip. You gotta go. If it stank a little bit when you walk in there, you got to go. <laughs> if you don't see nobody cleaning up, if they don't treat you like you at Chick-fil-A or if they, if, if they don't treat you like you at the Apple store, leave that dispensary, bro. You're at the wrong one. The weed is the same amount at the good dispensary. It's the same price, but it's just better weed. So I know people are just like, they, like, they like hood shit. That's what they like. You know what I mean? Like, oh, go to the store because it's hood it's hood yeah it's cool bro but the better weed is at the good dispensary bro go there get you some fine weed smoke that shit bro like man I can't wait till they bring them dispensaries to Houston down <laughs> anyway man plus game man shout out to plus mo man shout out to you guys everybody everybody that's rocking with me hey y'all stay tuned in I'm gonna stay locked in Peace, love, and blessings, my brothers.